Oh, see, now it's fixed up. Now it's fine on my side. It looks good over here. Okay. Boom. Boom. I like it. Let's go. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> no awesome intro this week, Shane? <laughs> What's up, everybody? I am Shane Murphy. This is the Man Cave Broadcast. Back once again, episode 21, and I've got Mr. Ed Elkins with us here today. What's up, Ed? How's it going, Shane? How's it going, my friend? Just living the fucking dream. As much as you can nowadays, right? (laughs) Exactly. (laughs) When you're stuck at home doing everything and nothing. Right. All right. Let me see. It's not. Zoom. We're on twenty one. We got to be on twenty one, yeah. right? You it's just it. so weird to think that. Yeah. Okay. We're on episode twenty one. It's so weird to think that we're on episode twenty one because I was going through it the other day. Episode one of the Man Cave broadcast, Joe and I recorded back on July fifth of twenty nineteen. Right. And then we had one on the seventeenth. <laughs> then the thirty first of July and August seventh. Like we did really good in the beginning, right? August fourteenth. And then there's a month or so gap between August 14th and September 25th, and then October 14th, and then January. We got a couple in January, and then (laughs) a gap of January to June, right? And it was like June did a couple in – actually, no, June's when we started again. June's when we actually started doing this again because of COVID. The only good thing that came out of COVID – (laughs) <laughs> is that the show has actually been consistent since june i, I don't i don't even right? know if we missed a week since june it only took a national catastrophe worldwide catastrophe to put us back together again yeah exactly but now we're here weekly and we went from not doing anything between episode nine and episode 10 six months between nine and ten and now we've had 11 episodes in three months so i feel like boom i feel like the the new word of the year from sesame street for you shane should be consistency that's good that you have embraced (laughs) thanks to covid i mean you're doing you're you have the podcast weekly Mm -hmm. uh, you're you're always streaming weekly on a regular basis it's you're true consistent man uh boredom (laughs) so (laughs) Um, man, this, uh, this aircraft carrier fucking air traffic control headset you're wearing though is intense. That is a lot. Exactly. I feel like you should yeah. be landing planes. Did you get Microsoft uh, flight simulator? No, I, I don't, I don't think I'd be able to deal with waiting for that thing to download. Yeah. Install. Yeah. It's, it, it's a beast. I just though I, I see you. And all I imagine is just like, uh, Echo 2905, you are cleared for landing on uh, Funway 4. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. You know? Pretty it's much. Good. It's I like, like 17 it. to 20 bucks off of uh, on the Amazon. Amazon. Yeah. And, and they even said, hey, you know, if you leave us a, a review, they didn't say positive, but if you leave us a review, we'll even send you another headset or a, head st- a headset stand. Oh, there you and go. for this thing, you need something to hold them up. Because you can't yeah. set them on the table because they're so freaking heavy. Yeah, they break the table. Um, so they sound, the it sounds good. It sounds really good. Considering it, someone probably bought this off of Wish and <laughs> then resold it on Amazon. Yeah. I'll take it. Yeah, exactly. This uh, this cardboard tube behind me, we bought a projector off of Amazon for the girls, right? And they did the right. same exact thing. They're like, hey, leave a review. And if you leave it and send us the proof, we'll send you out like a stand or a screen or something. Yeah. And I was like, I'll take that. That's a hundred inch projector screen that we got for free. And I'm like, that's the way to do it. Yeah, that's that's a way to buy reviews. Yeah. And honestly, like I never got my, my headset stand or my oh, you did headset it? though. 
<laughs> no. Oh, fuck them. I'd be changing that review. should have known. Yeah. I should have known. This wedding is horse shit. <laughs> so, um, no, that's crazy, though. Hi, Aaron. She didn't say hi back. Another time. Uh, yeah, she can't hear you. Mm, it's unfortunate. Shane said hi. Hi. She waved. Oh, good. Thank you, Aaron. All right, so eight minutes in. Uh, for those of our viewers and those of our new listeners, you can find the Man Cave broadcast on all major social media platforms, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and most importantly, we are streaming twice weekly on Twitch, uh, doing video game streaming, generally Warzone. That is on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 p.m. until midnight or so. And then streaming uh, podcast weekly here on Wednesdays at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So thank you for uh, coming and listening or watching. Please make sure to follow the channel if you're watching on Twitch and follow us on all social media. We appreciate you. How was so that? that said, Shane, and that was awesome. <laughs> Hands down, that was awesome. <laughs> so, so we talk about our kids a lot. Yeah. Okay. Especially with COVID and whatnot. Uh, I got to tell you, since last year, since we got this this streaming set up uh, and gaming rig, uh, my my son, my my eldest son Connor, he's really big into watching YouTubers stream video games. Okay. So now what he likes to do is come onto this this t under the computer and play a game and pretend he's streaming. So I actually have set up for him a streaming platform. I just don't hit record. Okay. Okay. And this kid, I tell you, not in his sleep, he will say like and subscribe. <laughs> Click the bell. The bell and for notifications. Smash that like button. Oh, my gosh. That's funny. My uh, my girls. Oh, I like that we both have the same chair. Ooh. I just noticed that. That's solid. Very nice. Very a, lot nice. Of, a lot of red between us. Yes, no you kidding. Know, we've got uh, the red chair. It's got the red mic. You got the red headset. You got a, yeah, it's good. Very red, nice. Red guitar here. Yeah, it's a it's a theme. <laughs> it's a theme. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, shit. Oh, oh. So yeah, that's what I was gonna tell you. Um, my girls keep wanting to make YouTube videos. We used to and whatnot, but it's always kind of yeah. hard finding games for them. And Warzone's really not yeah. the game for them. Uh, but I have been, uh, I, I've been seeing fall guys all over the place. Have you seen that yes. game? Okay. We have it. You do? Okay. Well, yeah, you got it for yeah. free on PlayStation. For PlayStation yeah. plus. Yeah, okay. exactly. I gotta, uh, it, I gotta it, drop the it didn't really do much good because we started playing it the day it was released. So two seconds in, uh, guess what crashed? Yeah. The PSN. Yep. So now that hopefully the servers are a little bit better for it, uh, um, I, Finally, I sprung. I'm buying a uh, <laughs> chat says uh, Fall Guys. Good, good. I'm glad you uh, you like it because I'm gonna be streaming it here soon. Nice. Uh, but I broke my Xbox controller like three months ago. I don't know how I did it, but I can assume that anger played into it. Uh, yeah. And I probably I probably <laughs> smashed it. So I just had to spend fifty bucks on a controller. I'm gonna buy the game as soon as it comes in, and we're gonna play a little Fall Guys on uh, the Twitch channel. So. We'll see how that nice. goes. Dude, your setup is fucking perfect. The way that you're looking at the camera and you got this light, I don't know if you're just used to looking at the camera. If it's right. I, I am, actually. You're, you're very, very good at it because I had to remind myself it's, to look at the camera. It's for my only fans. That's perfect, yeah. I, at, in this economy, I feel like I'm going to have to set one of those up here soon. Jeez. So if you guys you out kidding. there are looking for an overweight, middle-aged white guy to start showing off his fucking feet, <laughs> then i'm your man because uh i gotta make some money although did you hear about uh bella thorne what yeah, she did yeah that's why I, I was thinking about it like and, oh my and god apparently there's a huge backlash from the only fans community yeah it's massive huge backlash like wherever you're uh, it, it doesn't matter like where you fall on the spectrum of if you uh, are are okay with sex work right Right, but right. Bella Thorne fucked that community over because it's like mm -hmm. it's it's legal, obviously, for OnlyFans to be doing what they're doing and they're making money. And those girls yeah. are making bank. 
Lots of money. And Bella Thorne came in and just like cut all their all their pay. They're 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 so far down now in what they yeah. can actually make. And it's so much more difficult. And it's like I mean shit, I wish I could make a hundred thousand dollars in two months. But yeah, and I don't think she was being serious about it. She either. wasn't. She's I doing it for it a role. Like a, let's just see what we can do. No, she's doing research for a role. And so then she oh. says, Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put up naked pictures and my subscribers can pay for them. All these people paid all this money, and then she sent out a non non nude photo. And these yeah. guys are like, well, no, fuck this. Like, I got to wa- uh, uh, no, I want my money back. And now <laughs> OnlyFans is like, yeah. all right, well, you can only so you can only pay this much for a photo and you can only tip this much. And now all these girls who are legitimate are like, the fuck, man? Can't Thanks, about Bella. It. Crazy. So that was not on my topic list. Thanks for that. No. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I help Shit. any way I can, Shane. <laughs> I, I appreciate you a lot. Uh, and you know, with all this boredom and, and everything that you were talking about, which is why you were being able to be uh, consistent streaming, uh, you heard about Mandalorian coming out soon, right? Dude, I'm so stoked. Uh, one of the have few you watched shows... the behind the scenes yet? Uh, no. Uh, that came There's out right after the scenes. show came out, right? Yeah, on yeah. Netflix for it. We started watching it, but... Netflix? We... Disney Plus. Not... Disney Plus, sorry, okay. not Netflix. It's like what? when when your kids boycott Disney Plus because it's a Disney, because they're Disney shows. No matter how many times you tell them that Spider Man is on it, all you watch is Netflix and YouTube. Okay, that's fair. So um, yeah, I've 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 seen a couple of the behind the scenes. Like I've seen the way that they filmed it with that uh, digital background, with the uh, yeah the video screen backgrounds. Which are incredible. I I never would have known. Which are expensive. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and, yeah. I mean, you don't see any any stuttering in nope. any of the pixelation or anything. No, they it are great. dead on photos. They're amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm so excited for. It. I love the first season of The Mandalorian. I thought it was incredible. Yes. Uh, and I like the fact that everybody knew Mando Pedro Pascal was going to take off his helmet at one point. And they got around it by having him, spoiler alert, everybody, they got around yeah. it by having him take it off in front of a robot. Right. And I was like, yeah. that's cool. That's a good way of doing it. Because we got what we wanted, but he didn't break his code. So <laughs> I, I love it. I got to get a little baby Yoda. Um, I, I keep meaning to buy a Funko Pop. And they're only like nine bucks, but I just, I'm like, oh, let's buy a $50 controller instead. But I got to get a little baby Yoda, dude. They're so cute. Oh man. Well, you can get uh what was I see was it Hot Topic? Uh last this past weekend had it normally for 39.99 for the 10-inch ones. Oh my God. Baby Yoda's, the child, and yeah. they had it for 29.99 or they had it like cheaper now. So, hmm. I'm going to look that up. Yeah, I might have to. So, I'm excited for it. I love the show. I thought it was really well done. I'm uh looking forward to Gustavo, the fuck's his name from Breaking Bad? Yeah, I don't know his name. He I think played, you're right. He played Gus Fring. Gus, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, on Breaking Bad, yeah, seeing his right. role and that he's gonna be on. That's exciting. I, he's such a good person, and he's in the Boys. I haven't seen the Boys yet, dude. Season two is coming back in like three days. There's there's so much to catch up on, but you, you know how to. it is. We put the kids to bed, and then it's just like. We can't watch anything where you know where we have to pay attention because we've been focusing on work or mm-hmm. chasing the kids around all day long. So. I, I get it, but you gotta, you gotta catch the fuck up. <laughs> um, Manda, yeah, Mandalorian is great. Uh, oh, we started watching uh, Lovecraft Country. Yeah, I saw that you uh, listed. Sorry, my wife came back in to. Refill. God damn, where is that for me? I need that kind of service. Right? That was part of our vows. Yeah. Just going to keep bringing in drinks. When she's doing stuff at work and whatnot, I'm bringing her stuff. If she needs a granola bar, that type of stuff, I'll bring it in. Okay. All right. Um, Yeah, Lovecraft Country is amazing. Like, I am am super involved in it. What's the premise? Uh, It's in the 1960s, right? So it's the height of 
racism and segregation in the country. Yeah. And uh, it follows uh, follows a guy who his dad goes missing. So him and his uncle go to try to go to try to find him. Problem is he's African American. They're traveling through. They're all African American. They're traveling through a very racist country, right? Mm-hmm. So yeah. they're trying to deal with that. But then along the way, if you know really anything about H.P. Lovecraft, huge into monsters, yeah. huge little into crazy, crazy. Stu- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we'll- Stuff starts showing up. So really, yeah, yeah. So it's a lot of it's a lot of monsters. It's a lot of mystery. A lot of horror. Some of like the most graphic gore I've ever seen in anything. And like very, very well done. And it all makes sense. It's not just there to be like, oh, look at this. Like it's super well done for the plot and everything. So Lovecraft yeah. Country, dude, is super, super good. The first episode totally bought me in. Second episode, a little slower. Uh, third episode is nuts. Really? Yeah. Totally. Check this out. Yeah. It's is it really HBO good. Max? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Episode. It's three episodes in. Fourth episode dropping on Sunday. Dude, well Ooh. worth the time. Lovecraft Country is great. Yeah. We don't. We don't do the HBO Max, but I think know, if you have at don't some you, point we will. You have HBO. Though. Uh. No, we don't have HBO. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah. No, we we watch things after the fact when they finally come to. Amazon Prime okay. or you right. know the other stuff. I don't know but, if this is yeah, coming. No. It's gonna be on HBO Max, but it, Max is yeah. good. You gotta I, like. I like Max a lot. Well, it's, we really have to, especially with uh, with the way that they're. You know, I I mentioned I think last episode. Man, I am sweating in here. I'm like a I, I'm afraid. Dodgeball. I'm afraid to raise my um, arms because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm sweating. I'm like, oh. Yeah. Arizona, hey, fuck Arizona you. podcast. I know, right? They just, um, just add another tick in the box of heat being brought <laughs> up on our show. Right? Jesus. But uh, no, when, like I was talking about, I think last week or the week before, um, DC putting all their originals from DC Universe mm-hmm. streaming platform onto HBO Max. Um, at some point, we're going to have to do it. I mean, they have the original uh, Harley Quinn uh, cartoon. Mm hmm. DC on DC Universe is going to be moved over. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we're going to have to check it out at some point. Hulu had an awesome deal. They sent out an email that was like a, a promo for like $5 more from our plan a month to add it on. We just we didn't go for it because it's our kids that run the show. At the end of the day, we're working. It's good. It's worth it. I don't know. For five yeah. five bucks, it's pretty well worth it. Yeah. You get, you get the Fresh Prince of Bel Air, West Philadelphia, born and raised. I feel like I know all those episodes. <laughs> you should. And a lot of them touched me right here. I know. I know. Hey, speaking <laughs> of uh, speaking of heat. Yeah. We went to Buffalo Wild Wings the other day in a social distanced eating establishment. How was that? It explain was, explain okay. what they meant by social distancing there so you walk in right you got to have a mask to walk in uh Mm -hmm. they got like sanitizing right there at the front so you got to sanitize up and then they're like okay you can take off your mask at the table if you get up for any reason mask right and i watched and tell somebody put your fucking mask on i was like that's cool (laughs) um all the all the tables are kind of separated out so you're you're a good six to eight feet apart from everybody right um and then they're masked and everything when they come up so it was it was pretty well done as far as what they were doing um but anyways we got there went ahead and ordered our food jess and i got hot wings um i'm pretty sure i've eaten spicy food around you so you've seen that like when i eat something spicy spicy. i I sweat (laughs) right i don't i don't have you're making me sweat thinking about you sweat yeah i don't handle spice well at all and but i love it like spicy food is delicious I just run sweat, right? right so right. I don't know what it is with Buffalo Wild Wings, but they love to mess up the flavor that I buy. Oh, so man. I'm like, hey, I needed a dozen wings hot, right? Easy fucking order. I get them. I start tearing into them. And I'm like, these are pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> 
dead. Something's not right here. Right. I'm so, not sure if I'm dying or if I'm going to live. Yeah. And I don't know if it's like maybe something similar like my, like my alcohol tolerance, right? Right. Like you don't drink for a long time. It hits you harder when you are drinking, right? Yeah. Maybe this is like that. I really haven't had hot wings like I normally do. <laughs> so maybe I'm just like, ah, it's hot, you know? Well, Jess, who handles it a lot better than I do, she gets one bite um, of hers, right? And she's immediately like, <sighs> like sucking in oh, air. No. And like her eyes start watering, like crying. And I'm like, Oh, no. baby you're embarrassing me don't be a bitch like come on they're not that bad she's like no these are super hot I'm like they're not that hot like you handle better than i do don't come on come on right i was wrong <laughs> <laughs> i will admit to that right now how long have you guys been married <laughs> 11 years I think because of yeah. the fact that you can admit when you're wrong. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you are exactly. still married, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm like, our wings came out the same time, right? She got boneless. I got bone in. I'm like, there's no way that yours are hotter than mine, babe. Come on. Like same, right. same, word. Yeah. same sauce, same sauce. Yeah. She's like, try it. I'm like, I don't want to try it. I'm already sweating. I'm dying here. She's like, no, try it. I'm like, okay. I bit into it. Sure enough, hers, oh, were, no. hers were hotter. Hers, she had, they must have tossed hers in like the insanity sauce. Mm. Fucking That's scary. lit me up, bro. Uh, immediately, yeah. I, I chew it. I'm like, oh, this isn't bad. It, it's a different taste. I immediately knew I was in for a bad 10 minutes because as soon as I tasted it, I'm like, it's a different taste. I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> but I couldn't bitch out. So I go ahead and I, right. I give it back to her politely. Thank you. Never, never give that to me again. And I swallow it and the fire erupts. I'm running sweat, dude. Just running. I'm like, I'm right. sitting there looking at the ranch sauce. Like, should I just drink the ranch? <laughs> yes. And the, the waitress comes up and she looks at us and she's like, um, would you like some milk? And we're like, yeah, yeah, bring us the milk, oh my please. Gosh. So she brings out the milk and it doesn't help at all. So I basically just had to sit there and like cry internally for 10 minutes while this thing burned the shit out of my entire mm. soul. <laughs> Buffalo Wild Wings, huh? 10 out of 10 would eat it again. Wow. It was, it's so good. I love spicy food. Yeah, so so do I. Like I, I, I never used to. I mean, growing up, spicy food was like fire sauce to Taco Bell when you're growing up in Michigan. Um, but then once I met my wife, and she started introducing me to spicy food, it was like, it was like Aladdin started singing a whole new world. Yeah, <laughs> it was <laughs> because there's just a whole different flavor spectrum. Mm -hmm. It's awesome, and um, if 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 you love spicy food. Los Dos Molinos in Mesa, Arizona. Los awesome place for that. Dos Molinos. Yes. The, the two Molinos. The two grinders. Oh, is that what that means? Mm-hmm. Okay. I was trying to see That's the, what I've been told. I was trying to see the timer on this, and there it is. I got to expand. There we go. 26 minutes. The two grinders. Okay. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Nice. I got to try that. I, so uh, let me ask you. Now I'm kind of wondering, Shane. What is the spiciest food you've had? Or would, would that have been the spiciest? That was pretty close to the spiciest. Situation you've that, been in. that hurt like shit. Um, my father-in-law has had a couple of salsas. I did get the Hot mm -hmm. Ones salsa. You seen the YouTube show Hot okay. Ones? I have. Okay. That end of the line sauce. I've got that. The, uh, <laughs> what, what I can't remember what they call it. Um, fuck, I don't know. The last sauce, the hottest sauce. I've had that. Mm -hmm. The last dab. That's what it is. And lit me up. Yeah. Absolutely lit me up. That's cool. Um, spiciest thing? Yeah, I would I would have to say probably stupid Buffalo Wild Wings uh, hot wings. They're insane wings. Yeah. 
spiciest thing I've ever eaten in my life. Okay. And curry. Okay. I've had I've yeah. had some curry that fucked my day up, and I just ate it because it's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> Here's uh, what we will do: once this pandemic is done, yeah, you will come over here. Okay. We'll stream live from my setup over here. Okay. You can log into your Twitch yeah, stuff yeah. and go from there. And um, we'll go from different spicy foods. We'll have like some low dose Molinos. We'll have some okay. pretty spicy salsas and whatnot. Okay. Because my wife loves spices okay. and, and spiciness. So we'll do it and, and we'll have your reaction here on Twitch. Yeah. Live for everyone to see. Great. You can watch me. Yeah, Twitch can watch me pour sweat off my face. You might think, chat, that I'm exaggerating. It, <laughs> it does. runs off my face like I am running a marathon. The shirt like, becomes a towel. Yeah, I said, I'm just like, I, I don't know. And it's, it's, uh, I get it. I'm, I'm a heavy guy. <laughs> I'm overweight. I know. Even when I was skinny, it happened. It's just like, ow. <laughs> just sweat i'm just so white <laughs> i'm so irish and that's the problem is like the spiciest thing that my body is supposed to eat is a potato everything oh, else oh, gosh. is just <laughs> excessive for my taste buds okay yeah. okay they're like oh you want spice huh let's get you some broccoli <laughs> sir are, are you are you sure you want to yeah. drink that milk yeah you want to do that Let's just say the day after, the burn got me twice. Yeah. I feel I like if I don't happy. run to the bathroom three times at least the next morning, like it wasn't worth. It wasn't hot enough. Yeah. My wife has tainted me. Yeah. But. <laughs> so, yeah. So, Mandalorian, what was that? Uh, October 30th? Yeah. Yeah, that one got to actually finish before COVID hit. So we'll have a yep. full season. I don't think we're going to have a shortened season there. That'll be nice. And then, you know, just continue the story. So, and, and I think they've already gone out to season three for it, haven't they? That I don't know. I haven't, I haven't, uh, I'm pretty followed sure too have. closely with it. I, I just feel like, uh, when it comes out, it comes out and I wind up watching it. And, but, you know, every once in a while, you get those little clickbait things mm -hmm. expect to see this one thing in the mandalorian season two and you click on it and it's someone speculating and you're like why am i doing this right now i'm gonna watch five different pop-ups i can't i i get so tired of like websites nowadays and the way that they are set up for that clickbait because like yeah. you'll go you'll you know they'll say like oh yeah this is totally confirmed blah 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 and then you look at it and you're like no it's fucking not you didn't say anything Somebody in passing said, like, oh, yeah, I want to work with Matthew McConaughey. And they're like, confirmed. Jack Black is working on a romantic comedy where he dates Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> that escalated you're like, quickly. You're like, eh, that's not what he fucking said. <laughs> he wasn't anywhere close to that. That doesn't make sense. I just feel like if I have to click off on pop-ups or oh, ads yeah. that take up half the screen just to read, like, three sentences of your content on your website. It's a disservice to everybody. Yeah. And you should be shot. They're the reason that pop-up blockers are such a big thing. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. Like, and people over the age of 65 will pay hundreds of dollars for a pop-up blocker from Staples. <laughs> right. Yeah. And it's just like, don't, don't be those guys, but that's yeah. how, that's how you make money. Right. Yeah. It's Not Keona those. Reeves's birthday today. How old is he now? Like 37? Yeah, approximately. Unless he shaves off his facial hair. Dude, I know. And he gains 40 years. Yes. The, yes. Every time I see this Bill and Ted trailer, I'm like, fuck, Keanu, grow have it Have you back. seen it yet? No. Neither have I. Okay, I was going to say, is it any good? Not much of a conversation still, but, you know. Yeah, it's all right. I, I'm, I'm, I need to see it, but I'm just like, I'll wait. Like Kind of like what you said. I'll wait until it's free. Yeah. Yeah, like the like Disney Plus releasing Mulan for how much if you want to watch it, but then it's gonna be free come December. Yeah, paid members. Yeah, I'm not paying thirty bucks. 
Not going to do it. No, no. It's Mulan. Right. You had three good songs. Right. And they don't even have songs in the new movie. So What? Yeah, there's no songs. I know. Hey, how's Avengers? I know you're playing <laughs> the beta. Didn't the actual game launch? It, it, it Yeah, and I haven't had a chance to play it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, um, within the last... Just to give you an idea of business and whatnot, within the last two weeks, I've submitted, I've been requested and submitted of 19 different proposals, and I have a meeting on Friday with someone else. Wow. So things are a little crazy. I guess. <laughs> but, you know, we're going from there. Nice, dude. So I Congratulations. Time to even play it. Thanks. I, I haven't had much time to play it. It's... You know, during the day, it's pretty much the kids' realm on the TV, unless, you know, it's my oldest son doing schoolwork and whatnot. But yeah, yeah, nice. I yeah. watched, uh, I watched on Twitch. I watched uh, Tim the Tap Man. He was playing mm-hmm. it uh, yesterday. It, dude, it looks really cool. I mean, the graphics are pretty top notch. Yeah. Um, the gameplay looks fun. Uh, it's it's kind of like the Arkham games, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, that third person yeah. style of fighting, that Mad Max style. Um, dude, the writing looked a little rough. It feels like so that's the thing that, that really gets me. Cause I understand what you're saying. Yeah. It's one of those things where they tell you they've been working on it for a long time. Mm-hmm. But then you see the finished product and you're like, Someone phoned it in on the weekends. Yeah. Yeah. It I don't know. Like, I don't want to bash on something. And that's why I'm prefacing it with a lot of it looked amazing. It is. It's a good game. You know, um, Thor, his actor is pretty legit, good delivery and everything. But I don't know. Crystal Dynamics, I think when, if they're the ones who actually wrote a lot of the dialogue, I think they fucked up the dialogue. The dialogue doesn't feel natural. Kamala Khan. Yeah. Yeah. And, And you know what? And I haven't seen when Kamala Khan is older. After the after the events of the prologue, right? Um, but and when she's a kid and she goes to Avengers Day, all of her writing felt super hammy. And if that's, that's what a lot of it's going to be, I was like, I'm not. I don't know how interested I am. Yeah, yeah, and well, and that's the thing. So when my kids are playing through these parts, I'm doing work on on the laptop while I'm sitting on my chair. Mm-hmm. And they're playing. So every once in a while, I'll glance up and like, oh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. That's a pretty cool idea. Do this and try that. Mm -hmm. Uh, But storyline and whatnot, I'm not paying attention. If I'm playing it, like Ghosts of Tsushima, I'm paying attention to the story. Right. If they're playing it, nah. That's fair. It's very fair. But either way, I'm looking forward to it. It's just not one that I feel the need to pay 60 bucks for. No. No. It's not like uh like Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. That's coming out here later Bask- this year, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that one I'll probably pay sixty bucks for. That'll you know probably be my just first came out that... game that I pay sixty bucks oh, for right. in the last decade. Really? I don't I don't fucking pay full price for games ever. Because they've been one. building it for the last decade. Mm-hmm. And because of how well they did ah, The Witcher. See? Look right there. Mm. Um you know they the Witcher was amazing, and yeah. so I believe in CD Projekt Red. But, excuse me. Um, yeah, so I'm like, okay, this one looks a little better. I like the first person more. I like okay. what I'm seeing so far in their, uh, like, uh, Cyberpunk, the uh, Night City stuff they've been doing. Okay. I don't know how you're going to fucking stand up after drinking all those shots. I don't have to stand up. I'm already home. I, yeah, Good. You can just roll me. You're going to be chilling in that chair for a fucking hour after this. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have the games to play for it. Yeah. True. True. Um, What the fuck was I saying? Uh, see, I yeah, don't know. Cyberpunk. When, when you paused and good. asked that question, I realized that I've only had a granola bar to eat for today. Mm. So this will be interesting. That's going to be rough later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, um, I, I I think that I'll probably pay full price for that. I'm yeah, I am trying my hardest not to buy into the hype for Call of Duty Cold War for Black Ops Cold War. 
I haven't seen it. You're the second person in the last day to mention that. I showed you the trailer last week. No, no, no. I, okay, I understand that. Yes, <laughs> I, I get that. But I'm saying within the last 24 hours, you're the second person to bring it up. Mm. And I, I, here's my thing, okay? I like Call of Duty. Don't get yeah. me wrong. I like Call of Duty. But I prefer Battlefield games. Yeah, okay. Fair. I, I definitely do. I, I just feel like... I like to slow things down a bit to have a little bit of time to think. And with Battlefield games, because of the sheer amount of people, at least they used to have on mm. the maps, you have more time. You can think, uh, you can strategize. Call of Duty? No. you. It's a running gun. Yeah. That's it. You throw grenades before someone else shows up. Right. Just hoping they turn around the corner. Right. So... My wife thrives on Call of Duty. For me, it's Battlefield. Yeah. I don't know. I just remember the original Black Ops game yes, was yeah. amazing, right? Had a little M. Night Shyamalan twist, and it was just very, very well done. Okay. Never played any of the other Black Ops. But then I find out that this one, Cold War, is directly tied to the original Black Ops. So I'm like, oh, okay. Maybe, maybe I need to try it, but do I want to pay 60 bucks for it? When, like, Call of Duty, I feel like they phone in a lot of stuff besides Warzone. And actually, honestly, I think they phone in a lot of shit on Warzone. I can go all day complaining you about think Warzone. So? Bro, they don't have an anti-cheat. This game's the biggest game in the world since March. They don't have a fucking yeah. anti-cheat. <laughs> an anti-cheat. <laughs> Their form of anti-cheat is asking cheaters not to cheat. Not to cheat. I've seen that. that that's, not a, that's not a system. Your system's broken. Oh, it's so, a system. It's just not effective. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So it's like, do I do I want to reward Call of Duty by ba- by paying full price for their game by buying into the hype for a single trailer? No, probably not. Especially you when think they just don't care anymore. Not when you're making a billion dollars. No, because they it's know so it works. Weird. They know that they know that their system works. Like you said, they don't have to install an anti cheat, and yet we're still going to fucking play the game. Yeah, and we're still yeah. gonna stream the shit out of it and give yeah. them a ton of fucking exposure. And I'm, I'm the problem, you know. Mm-hmm. I'm the one streaming it twice a week, you know. But you no, know, they they clearly don't care. So yeah, you know, do I want to reward a company like mm-hmm. that? Probably not. So I'll probably wait until at least Christmas time when it drops down twenty bucks, and if I can score it for forty, then maybe I'll do that. But it just looks so good, man. It it really really looks solid. I want to see what actual gameplay looks like before really jumping into it. Yeah. So you're talking about you know Christmas and whatnot. I think Christmas and I think next next gen consoles. Yeah, that's what I think. Even even though I've got this gaming and streaming rig, um, I one, I I bought a PS4 when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Biggest mistake ever. Really. Because one, you're paying full price. Yeah. And two, you're getting the last gen mm-hmm. specs. So True. when my kids are playing Marvel of Marvel's Avengers, like we were just talking about, it sounds like I have a jet yeah. landing in my <laughs> living room. I've heard that. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Like I, I need these headphones to go in direct traffic when I go in my living room while they're playing. <laughs> It's ridiculous. <laughs> That's why I like the PC so much, man. I, I'm not I'm Me not too. buying an Xbox. I'm not buying a PlayStation. Like the only reason to buy either here. of those yeah. is because PlayStation has their own uh first party games that they rarely are putting out on a on a computer. Xbox has already yeah. said that every game they put out on the Xbox is going to be on the PC. They of course, just it's they Microsoft. just want money. Makes yeah. Sense. But yeah. that's the thing that they didn't used to do it, and now in the last year or two, they're like, okay, well, let's go ahead and make money. Do right. we do we want to <laughs> stay exclusive, or do we want to make more Benjamins? And they went the path of the Benjamins, which helps out me, the consumer who doesn't buy anything and gets everything for free. Free. <laughs> so, yeah. but I mean, they're still they're they're doing the right thing there. That's the only reason yeah. to buy any of these consoles is because PlayStation has their exclusives that are amazing 
but they're really not on on PC unless it's Horizon Zero yeah. Dawn, which they released five years after launch. Yeah, I was I was gonna say, isn't that like the only one? Yeah, they've got a couple. They 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 did like Heavy okay. Rain, uh, Beyond Two Souls. Oh yeah, Detroit okay. Become Human. I think is out. So I mean, those those are, cool. are different kinds of games. yeah, yeah. But it's not The Last of Us. It's not The Last of Us Two, which is what the people want. It's what gets the people what going. <laughs> um. But speaking of the consoles, that is something I wanted to talk about. Is the fact that how in the hell is it September second right now, and you have two major consoles? Actually, I think three because Switch announced the Pro. You have two or three major consoles that are releasing in the holiday season, and we have no prices yet for either of them. I know. Tell I, me how much I'm not going to spend. Uh, exactly. Uh, the PS5 won't do it. Xbox with the Series X hasn't announced it yet. Yeah. The Switch Pro hasn't announced it. Nobody's blinking. So here's you know what, what it is, right? What? This is middle school dance. <laughs> yeah. Your first dance. Right. You got the boys on one side of the auditorium. Yes. Girls on the other. And you're waiting to make the first move. Yep. Good yep. luck. Exactly. I specifically remember when PS4 and Xbox One were having their E3 announcements. So you mm -hmm. and I were still working at the same company at the time. Yeah. And yeah. I remember watching because Xbox, Microsoft, came out and announced, okay, here's the Xbox One. Here's what we have. And they'd already had a kind of, uh, not a kind of, they had had a lackluster E3 showing. And then they announced I remember that. $499. For the system, right? And you could hear a pin what? drop. Yeah. What? Everyone's just like, <laughs> did you say 500 bucks for an Xbox? And then I... Sony followed it up immediately after and announced at 399 And the place went nuts. Absolutely yeah. insane. And that's and it's because they sat there and did it. I guarantee PlayStation was at 500 bucks when they first were ready to announce the PS5 or PS4. Yeah. And then they went yeah. ahead and were like, oh, let's pull 100 and let's just undercut them, right? Because they're I'm not they're, sure they can do that this time. I don't want, well, obviously not, because no one's going to blink. Yeah. I feel like we're just going to get an announcement one day that Target's selling the PlayStation 5 for $500. Bingo. And you're exactly right. No one is planning out, like, what are they going to do? And what happens if it's more expensive? What happens if they announce a $599 console? And you know how many, many people buy it? Only the people who want to make money selling them. Yeah. Profiting. Much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. eBay. Total eBay. Yep. That's Same it. thing that happened every every That's time. It. Yep. And you got the parent who's like, I'll pay whatever to make my kids happy on Christmas. Yeah. So I'll pay $5.99, $6.99 for a PS5. And they don't necessarily know what the competition's doing. Right. I'm not doing that. I'm... If I gotta pay, if I gotta pay five ninety nine for a fucking PlayStation Five, I'm right, spending right. the eight hundred dollars for the new um, Nvidia cards. Oh yeah, you know, they, <laughs> I they, just saw a new one that came out, a new card, video card that was like fourteen hundred bucks. Oh my god! And I'm like, it's like the three? Are you kidding me? It's like the thirty eighty Ti or thirty ninety. Yeah, fifteen hundred dollars. Yeah, and I'm not. Yeah, no, you don't. You, you, and um, you're like. I could buy two new new computers. Yeah. And put pretty decent video cards in them. Oh yeah. Yeah. At least nowadays. Yeah. There's no reason to spend that. And then the the step below that one, below the fifteen hundred dollars, is it's an eight hundred dollar card. Which is pricey. And that's that's expensive. Don't get me wrong. That is. But that thirty eighty yeah. card for eight hundred bucks is going to last you ten years. You know, and if you, I hope so, yeah. And if I throw it in there and back it up with my current card that I've got in here, oh, I, yeah, I, I, I'm I won't have oh, to yeah. fucking do it. It'll be set for a while. Yeah, I, you know, <laughs> you're looking at at an eight year card at the minimum. I think right now, if you're if you're doing that, because it's gonna last a long fucking time. So it will. It will. I don't know. It, it's but it just it's wild that we're this close to the holiday season. But I was in Costco the other day, and guess what they've got put out right now. Oh no! What fucking Christmas decorations? 
Already? August, I just got an ad for their Halloween stuff. August 31st, bro. We were there on... No, not August 31st. I was there on Saturday. August 29th. Wow. Christmas shit. Could not believe is it. Is it good or is this the same stuff they have every year? Well, I mean, Costco doesn't sell garbage, right? But I mean, you got well, these... Well, it's, it's got always these big, big good. Right. But do they differentiate? They, it seems like every year they have the awesome keyboard... Price between one hundred and two hundred dollars. Right. Yeah, they have the awesome tree. Well, they mm-hmm. have three different awesome trees, and the most expensive one is six hundred bucks. Right. <laughs> they have a system. They know how to do it well. Oh yeah, and they have good quality shit. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, I feel like I know what I'm going to get every time I go to Costco. I love that. Yeah, but it's the same thing every year. Well, and and they're running off their treasure hunt, right? Because I used to work there. And yeah. they move shit all over the place because they expect people to just go walk through and be like, oh, look, $500 Christmas tree. It's September. That. I need that. Yeah. It's going to be right around the corner. And they they just expect people to be like, oh, yeah, I totally need this fuzzy fucking sweater that I wasn't coming for. <laughs> or I need this Keurig that can brew two cups of coffee and blow me at the same time. For $80. <laughs> Add that to my wish list. For yeah. <laughs> no. Um. Yeah. And it, it, it's it's crazy because it it feels like there's a certain psychological piece that comes into play when people go shopping at Costco. Mm-hmm. But like, oh, this is Costco. Therefore, logically, this must be a good deal. Therefore, I should buy it. Mm-hmm. Here's the hint, guys. If you weren't in the market for Puma sweatpants, <laughs> spending money on Puma sweatpants is not a good deal. Right. Agreed. If you weren't going to buy it when you came in and you bought more, yeah, you're the sucker. Yeah. I Works agree. well for them. Awesome return policy. Yeah. But, I mean, you're talking to the guy who during law school, because I was living on student loans... I would go to Costco for lunch every day. I wasn't buying pizza. I wasn't buying hot dogs. I was getting the samples. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. That's good. But that dollar fifty hot dog meal, pretty good. That's a good meal. Though. That was pretty good. Been doing it forever. Can't, You're never gonna raise the price. Wrong. Yeah. It's a lost leader, bro. So and they always have something new. They have like some awesome new salad. Yeah. Or some chicken bake, chicken right. farm bake or something like that, you know? It's always good stuff. I like it. Yeah. It I can't good. believe how busy it is still in there. I haven't been there in at Very least busy. a year. I'm not even sure if our membership is that current now that I'm thinking about yeah. it. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, and masks everywhere. They require it the same as everyone else does. That's at least the nice thing that yeah. Maricopa County finally got right is that they're requiring masks out here. Um, so it's like, I don't feel so bad. I walk in, I'm like, okay, cool. You know, this is, uh, you know, there's masks. I feel better about that. Get in, get out. You know, people stay away from you. They're not so close anymore. So I'm like, okay, I got some walking room. Fake a cough here and there. People yeah. stay away from you. Yeah. It's funny. Actually, when I went in there, for some reason, I started getting like a little cough. And I was like, people are going to look at me <laughs> like I've got the fucking plague. <laughs> and I don't. As soon as I left, I stopped coughing. But oh, there was a couple man. times where I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> like trying to hold it in. Because I'm like, oh. I don't want people to just start attacking me. Kill the leper. <laughs> Kill the leper. <laughs> it was like, uh, what was it, Life of Brian and Mighty Python? I was, she turned me into a newt. What? Yeah. But I got better. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's, aye, uh, aye, aye. it's a weird, weird time we live in, which is really just the topic Isn't it, of though? I mean, everything. <laughs> Yeah, we can't we can't escape it. Yeah, you know we can we can sit here and think about uh, all the crazy uh, things that are happening in the news. Uh, Black Panther died. Yo, I can't believe I forgot in real that. Real life, I cannot believe I fucking forgot. Holy that. moly! <clears throat> and did you hear about the about how people like he would be posting pictures of himself? And people were dogging him for his weight loss. Yeah. Yet they didn't know the full story. Mm-hmm. 
Like, I hope they fucking feel great now. Yeah. Uh, Sheesh. A hundred percent. Yeah. Cause like he actually took a lot of those photos down <clears throat> because they're like, yeah. oh, man, you look so skinny. And it's like, there's all this time where like, rough. you know, now, now that I'm looking back at it, there was a lot of times where they were asking him to do like the, the arms over the chest, the whole Wakanda look. And he just looked like he fucking hated doing it. And people yeah. are like, you know, he's already over it. He's already, you know, done playing black Panther and that he, he doesn't want to do it. And it's like, no, the dude was fucking rolling through chemo. Like he knew what he was, what, yeah, you know, what effect he had on the community. Right. He knew he was doing Holy something no. really, really great there. And yeah. to be fucking dealing with cancer the entire time, dude. While filming all of those, like seven movies, nine, nine, nine movies. movies. Yeah. Like, uh, I'm not productive if I have diarrhea for one day. <laughs> so I don't know how he's doing chemo. Dude, I, and for no one to know, for literally no one to know until after he passed away. Crazy. Whoa. Somebody on Twitter put out really good, uh, a really good thing though. Cause like Twitter was in mourning, right? Yeah. Um, but somebody said the one solace that I can take, or solace that I can take from this whole thing is the fact that it was Chadwick Boseman's family that put out the statement that he passed away. We didn't get it from fucking TMZ. We didn't get it Thank from you. CNN or some dipshit like Slasher leaking it on Twitter. Yeah. We got it from fucking Chad Chadwick Boseman's family. family. Yeah. And uh, I, I think that's great. It is Chadwick Boseman, right? Did I fuck that up? For a second, I'm like, is it Bosworth? But that's I, for, no. As far as I know. Yeah, I think it's Chadwick Boseman. As far as I know. Fuck, I forgot. I can't believe it. Either you know, way. If, if COVID wasn't happening and I wasn't have to do everything – uh, at home and with the kids schooling and whatnot, I'd probably know. I pay more attention, but I think everyone needs a little bit more forgiveness if we don't know people's names. Yeah, exactly. This pandemic. <laughs> Plus, I've been dealing with tech issues so much that I'm afraid to get on Firefox and Google it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, but... search just search Black Panther and somehow shut down your stream. Exactly, I know. So, um, huge loss. Not just to the Marvel community, but I mean to the community at large. The guy was a great actor. He seemed from all, from everything that I've seen, it seems like he was a really great dude. So like everything I've seen has been like, he's sitting here going to hospitals for kids with you know leukemia and other forms of cancer, and he's sitting here fighting his own battle right with the same thing. Yeah, but he'd rather put smiles on kids' faces. Yeah. That's a real life superhero. Yeah, absolutely. I completely agree. So, uh, you know, wasn't expecting a, a PSA, but it was colon cancer that got him. So, guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. go get a yeah. fucking check. Don't be too much yeah. of a man to not let the doctor stick his finger up your butt and check you. Yeah. Because you never know when it's going to happen. I thought it was going to have to when I turned 30. My doctor's like, we don't do that till like 40s anymore. And I'm like, oh, I thought, can I pay more? <laughs> can I pay more? <laughs> can I pay more? Well, I've had it done before. And it was, uh, I got to tell a story. Okay, great. Thank you. That is going back to the depths of Man Cave Broadcast. Okay. To pull out this story. When I was younger, this was back in, in, in college, undergrad, prior to law school, I... There was one day when I I had a problem with everything. Went to the doctors. The doctor, who, by the way, was probably right out of med school, and she was very attractive, mm -hmm. said, well, let's do an STD test, and also let's check the size of your prostate. Okay. So I have the same attractive doctor <laughs> swab me <laughs> for an STD test. Uh as and immediately afterwards stick her finger up my bum for a prostate check. <laughs> and that was my my first prostate exam. Oh my gosh, man. That's uh that's a lot of fun. Cheers. With my luck, it's gonna be some like Samoan doctor with sausages for fingers, and he's just like Oh Jesus. Boop. Hey, hey, hey. Dwayne the Rock Johnson walks into your yeah. walks into the patient room. 
Here we go, motherfucker. <laughs> Flip over. Is cooking. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Jesus Christ. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's rolling up close to an hour here. So uh, that's Man. about it for us today. Ed, what do you want to leave us with today? You know, just with everything with uh, with Chadwick and whatnot, the, the talks, just being nice to people. You don't know what kind of battles they're fighting. Exactly. I am uh, down for that. So uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you for listening. This is episode 21. Never really thought we'd get here, especially with how it all started out, but, uh, truly, truly <laughs> grateful that we have been able to get here. Uh, and like I said, it's the one good thing COVID brought us. Um, but again, uh, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all your favorite social media, we're there, uh, and follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash man cave broadcast. Uh, following is free and very helpful. We're trying to get to affiliate. We need those followers. So any uh, help is appreciated. Also, feel free to share the show. Um, and we really, man, we have a lot of fun doing it. So we're going to keep going and, yeah, we do. you know, we'll see what happens. Hopefully we should have some more folks uh, on the show next week. And uh, if you want, you know, feel free to send us any suggestions in the chat for uh, topics to talk about in the weeks to come. So, Again, I am Shane Murphy. This is the Man Cave Broadcast. Thank you all for coming. Have a good night.